Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we back. And these croissants are smacking. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Chef Drewski, back here at it again with another episode of the Mixing Pot Podcast, where we eat wonderful croissants. Um, today's going to be a great episode, but without further ado, I would love to introduce my co-host, Chef Tariq. Chef Tariq, how you doing today, bro? I don't know where Kiana got these croissants from, but boy... Hey. Yeah, they bought me for a while. I don't know what's going on right now, but that ass. What's going on, Drew? Nothing much. Just chilling, bro. Can't complain. Can't complain. Today we got a little fall esque episode. Feel me? Episode seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine. Are you kidding me? What are we at? Eighty nine. Episode eighty nine. Everybody. Yo, we got to do something for uh, the 90th. Like a semi. That's not a semi. I mean, it's like almost there. 90 is not anywhere near semi. I mean, like, if you were celebrating your 90th birthday, I'm pretty sure you would want a big celebration. Oh, yeah, it's a big... Yeah, sure, but... So, it's not, it's not semi. semi? No. It's, it's like semi. damn there, there? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, let's get into it. Before we get into everything... That we want to talk about today. Let's get into our drinks today. Um, courtesy of Kiana going out to the liquor store. Yeah. And getting us some things. But um, we got some rum chata, pumpkin spice. Can you grab that for me, my brother? Pumpkin spice. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we got a little rum chata. I'm going to get y'all going with the um rum chata pumpkin spice combines premium caribbean rum and real midwestern cream pause with the taste of home cooked pumpkin pie for the perfect burst of autumn to spice up your coffee now we ain't drinking coffee feel me but we're gonna sip up some rum chata okay and we also have another drink today so we're gonna Two do different so we're gonna do both we're gonna get drunk that's what we're doing today Ooh. okay Ew. Tariq's favorite, but it comes with a flavor now. <laughs> Tariq, which, which one do you want? Uh, this is Modelo Pina Picante. And then I have Chilada Mango and Chile. These are going to be spicy. Yeah, they are going to be. <laughs> which one? Did you want the pineapple or did Sure, let's try. Or you want to just try a cup? Let's right. let's just try one for today. What? Try one. Right. Let's try one. Let's just, let's do this one. Let's. We got some rum chata pumpkin guess, spice. Yeah, well, you can try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got some Modelo. Look at that. Which one we going for? We're going. Which one you going first? We're doing mango first because you know those, those pineapples be hit, hit or miss sometimes. We're going. Oh, well, we're going. So we're going mango and chile first. We're going mango and chile first. Okay. Let's taste this first. Okay. There's some ice going. We got, we got the ice as well. We got the ice got the as well. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. That's it. We got the ice going in the cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going we to we we sip scissors. We're going to sip some scissors. Bro. Sip some scissors. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's orange. Yeah, that's real. That's like real orange. That's real orange. I could smell it. <laughs> I wonder what they use to color it. If it's hopefully it's if like it's actually mango, carrot. maybe it's like knowing them, it's not. It's, like it's some chemical in America. I mean, yo, you heard about that? What that shit? Um, how they're going on strike about what they color Kellogg's cereal, uh, Fruit Loops with? So here in America, we supposedly, um color fruit loops with a bunch of dyes and shit like that but in like the uk and like europe they do it with like natural like juices from like veggies and fruits and stuff like that Mm. and like they're becoming into a big uproar about it saying like why is america's food system one of the biggest food systems in the world and like we eat like shit you know what i mean but i i heard it on um npr radio i was driving the other day doing doordash and I was listening to it, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You said Fruit Loops. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't know about that. I didn't... F- oh, it's right here, actually. Literally 23 hours ago. Before we... Before I... Before I get to that. <laughs> uh, protesters... Article, protesters demand Kellogg remove artificial colors from Fruit Loops and other cereals. Those Which is crazy because I've been eating these my whole life. Feel me? Like, I'm filled with that shit now. I, I want some... I wonder, though, does it really have a taste difference? Uh, so it says, dozens of people rallied outside of Michigan headquarters of Kellogg Tuesday, demanding that the company remove artificial dyes from its cereals. Uh... The maker of Fruit Loops and Apple Dots announced nearly a decade ago that it would remove artificial gri- ingredients from its products by 2018. And yet they haven't? What the hell? The company has done that in other countries. In, in Canada, for example, Fruit Loops are colored with concentrated carrot juice, mm-hmm. watermelon blueberry. juice, and blueberry juice. Mm-hmm. But in the U.S., the cereal still contains artificial colors and BHT, a chemical preservative. Mm-hmm. Huh. Craziness. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I do wonder how that tastes. That's what I want to. I I want to see if it's a taste difference because, like, granted, it's for the coloration and everything like that. But it sometimes does have a certain like taste element to it, mm-hmm. in a way. So I want to see if it takes away from the the Fruit Loops or it adds something different. Like, does it give it more pun- punch because it's now natural? juices that we're getting and dyes for a dye than these chemicals man-made shit but i was listening to that and i was just like damn that's crazy because then they started going into other brands and things that we all consume here in america and been consuming since we were born literally and other countries are looking at it and then like skittles for example their dye and all the chemicals that are in skittles that we eat here in america is not in any of the Skittles that they sell outside of this country. Yeah. It's like most of the shit that Oreos is another one. There's no, what two big things they don't have outside of America is hydrogenated oils and uh, high fructose corn syrup. That's two major things that even they don't in, use. Even in sodas, like Coca-Cola products, like you can taste actual sugar. Like mm-hmm. they taste a lot different and you can tell the actual difference from. Granted, we were supposed to go to the world of Coke. Um, Back in like 2019. Exactly. No, and no, we would have like tasted 20, the 2016. Yeah, we would have tasted the differences. We but were, like. But I mean, when I was in Italy, like Fantas and stuff, that all tasted differently. I'm like, some of these taste good. Because they're making real cane sugar. All right, real quick. Let's get into this drink because. Cheers. Bro. First off. Then you know I'm not a fan. The only reason I'm not a fan is because this gives me. The taste gives me a very, very fond memory, which is not a good memory, mm-hmm. but it was like winter time and I was, I had to be all of like eight, nine and I was in school. We all went outside for recess. Yep. I'm running outside, slip on some black ice, bust my face open on the pavement, but where it was, it was all like salt and shit i had knocked my tooth out like that was my baby tooth at that point but like Mm -hmm. i had knocked my tooth out but my whole mouth was gushing blood and it just had the salt in it and it's just that taste bro that's all i was tasting was salt and blood that actually happened yeah that actually happened to me when that's that's why when i taste that first taste is like what it brings me back to and i don't like that shit um you see what i'm talking about though it has that it's a weird it's not taste. like an irony taste, but it's like Yeah, I, I hear what I hear what you're saying. Um Are you a fan? It's not bad. I'm not I mean, I would drink it. I it's not like crazy on like the chili. And it's like the I mango. think that's what it there's is, the hint, chili. There's the there's a hint of the mango in there. I can you can probably tell that this is like artificially made. Flavored, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, of you course. Can, like, what we're just talking about, like, the issues, like, you can kind of, I can kind of tell that's, like, they're not making that fresh and stuff. Um, 
I don't know about that. <laughs> I, w- I don't like that. You want to try this? We're we're letting the camera crew try because. Yeah, it's, oh. it's, the mango. Mango. it's it's the chilada enchilada i'm not yeah i'm not mad at it it's not it's not great but you know it's not if someone had it and it was like yeah hey, you want one scale from one to ten uh six Maybe five and a half. Okay, good. That sounds more like it. That's that's, that's <laughs> around the ballpark I was looking at too. Five and a half. Um, Anything higher than a five and a half, I'm not going for because that shit is not that that good. That's if, not. If someone had like, that's not the worst drink we've had on the show. No, it's not but it's definitely not. It's not. top. If good. so, if someone, if you went to a party and someone had like a six pack of those, it's like, yo, you want one? And they really didn't have much there yet. Like, would you go for it? No, you gonna wait. You gonna wait. Something else pop up. Mm-mm. I'll, I'll probably go for like a uh, Mike's Hard or or some shit. Like, just cause. Um, yeah, I mean, I I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all, honestly. So, what the hell is this kid wearing? Wow, he don't like that at all. <laughs> he, he is, did not, he like is not going one. for that. He did not like that. And one. he was just screaming. <laughs> he did not like that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's get into weekends. How was your weekend, yo? My weekend was really good. Um, I had a wedding on Saturday. Uh thank you to Kirsten and Seth Rainville. Mm-hmm. Congratulations on your wedding. Uh it was really good. It was in New Bedford. Uh I got there at nine in the morning. So the way they did it basically was they had a whole hall. Mm-hmm. Upstairs was going to be the reception and the ceremony. So they literally like had everything done. Like they like came in together. Like everyone was already there. Like they had the reception and right after. Going in. Cere- like they had the ceremony and then the reception was literally right, literally right after. Not no walking out and hey, they like got right to it basically. Um, But I did like flat top, uh, flatbread pizzas. Uh, wings, charcuterie boards, uh, mac and cheese, salad. They loved everything, which is great. But I was in, I was in the weeds. Like I was hustling and bustling, like crazy. Freaking! I had two servers. I know you was in there sweating, bro. That's how you know you you were hustling. <laughs> I had two servers from like an outside company that like they hired or whatever, and they were just up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, and it was like. The wedding started at like 1 30. Mm-hmm. So we're like, we're setting things up kind of like, you know, all right. I was like, all right, one o'clock, we can kind of just throw the, the charcuterie boards up there just so it's out already out. We can, we had the sternos and the racks going. We had the water kind of already heated up. I was like, you know what? Mac and cheese is already done. Let's get that out there now. Then I can do the wings and the flatbreads we'll put up as we, at once they're done. All right. No, we put, the, no, we put the flat, uh, first round of flatbreads up there. But we was like, I was like, wings, that's the only thing I could really worry about. We like rushing to put the mac and cheese up there. Like, cause they're like ready to go. I was like, oh, my bad. They're like, no, you're good. You're good. We threw it up there and they're like walking in already. I'm like, crap. So I'm literally just standing there, standing there. Once the bride like got down to everyone like this with the cameras, I snuck out and go to, to go to the kitchen in the basement. And I was just cranking wings, wings, got wings. To. Got to Freaking at that point. Flatbread pizza. Because, you know, that's the number one thing they're going to be reaching for. Literally. And it was like, oh, yeah, we're low on this one. Low on, I'm like, God damn it. I only have one big, huge freaking deep fryer. And I only could do so many wings at a time. Mm-hmm. So I'm just sitting here like, please, like, just be okay with whatever's going on. But they, like, they loved everything, which is dope. Uh, and then they made me a gift. They made, like, a charcuterie board. It's kind of shaped like a pizza paddle, basically. But you can do whatever with it. Mm-hmm. Um. But the husband, Seth, he, he's like, he does like pottery. So he did like all of like the cups, the like little art mirrors. I was like upstairs in the reception area and like downstairs, in the downstairs area. So like he made this hall or he didn't make did the he hall, it? but like just like all the pottery and like the cups. They, was they were like, his, but they set it up there. They, That's he, dope. He like made everything like they set it up and they were, they were telling me they was like that they're creating like a business, uh, Kind of with like chefs, you know, like if you, you know, with their products and like they're going to put up on their site, you know, promote it what, as well. What are their products? 
It's like I got. I'm gonna. I'll bring it next week and I'll show you. But literally, like the board, it's, the board is literally like a kind of like a paddle, but it's like pretty long. And then there's like, do you remember the um, the ramekins we used to have at the Renaissance for the uh the restaurant, like the little blue ones and like with the oh yeah ones. yeah the one oh they're like green blue all mm-hmm. different color ones yeah I so, stole a couple of those yeah so, <laughs> so the ones he made was like really similar but they they're really dope mm-hmm. so I was like they was like yeah this is a little gift we got you for you so it was like yeah whenever you know whenever you send, take pictures you know send it to us and we're gonna put you on the website and it's gonna be up for next year so I was like. Hell yeah! I'm put to, all your sauces in that. I'm about to do start your using wings for like different things. Like I can do like wing boards and put it on there. It does. Uh, do the like same thing. You could even do the like, thing that you did on the show, bro. Just put it, just post it on their show. Literally, I for can, the I can do it just like that. So I'm like, bro. I'm like, this, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And it was, that's dope. But they loved they loved everything. Like their uh the bride's mom was like, she was like that mac and cheese was really good. She was I make. Good mac and cheese. She, said, she goes, so that's saying something. I said, hey, hey here we go now. Exactly. So As so, long as you got them coming up. They said, so, like, the week before, it was kind of okay. Like, this one, like, really was good. This was a great event. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was a real bounce back and everything. Just a nice little confidence boost. So, good us. So, it was good. Um, And I just kind of chilled with Tiana this week. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, I went to her house, chilled, watched football. Monday, she came down and made dinner for everybody. And then just kind of been, just been Ubering. Yeah. It's time to get ready for the cruise. So It's time oh, to get we, ready for a lot of things. Bro. I know. And then we, not even that. We have my mom's breast cancer uh, cake and sip on Saturday at Passions. Okay. So grab your tickets from Miss A Block. And then the breast cancer walk on Sunday, bright and early. So we got that. That's this weekend? That's this Sunday. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Um, it's it's gonna be jumping. Yeah, October's flying too. It is because it literally got here like it's not too long ago, and now it's already the sixteenth. <laughs> but um, what did I do? I did about the same thing you did. I just chilled with uh Kiana, just vibed out at the crib. I mean, like I, you know how I am. I stay low when it's bill time, especially when you got to start around the holidays and start watching your pennies especially because you know you got to start buying gifts soon and start splurging and whatnot so i mean like i said i didn't heed my own advice and start buying back in july so like not at all it's it is what it is this is what happens when we get into this point for a few people so absolutely i'm not even gonna lie i seen some crazy thing and i was just like damn like it was a travis scott soccer jersey did you see those no so he has germany argentina uh i seen uh who else there was a bunch of teams bro but like i was just like damn like that would be the ultimate like other party gift that would yeah that would be tough hold on that would be tough um i should have put it on the ipad (laughs) Um, I was about to say something else too. No, yeah, I have I like some ideas for other people. They got Argentina. That's pretty tough. They got Brazil. Hold on. Brazil, Italy. The, the Italy one I was looking at, I was like, yeah, I get that. Damn, them prices are crazy, but yeah, those are tough. Yeah, but England. Yeah. But it's crazy because it's not like an actual jersey. It literally is just like a fucking shirt. Mm. But it looks like it's like spray painted. Well, obviously not this one. It's, it's just designed as like yeah. a jersey type. But that shit's dope. Like I was like, damn, and it has Utopia on the front. Mm. Yeah, go go along with the the tour and everything. But I still need a, a long sleeve jersey from a team. You owe me. Ah, uh, uh, nothing. Ah, uh, uh. Oh. Um. <laughs> No, because got, hey, I'm joking, bro. Got, you don't. I got me. concepts of gifts for people. So cool. what? What's the con? How how many people do you have concepts for so far? Well, I mean, I got. I got. I mean, I got a lot of people. I got a gifts for, but I mean, uh, I don't really have that many people. I know what I'm getting yet. So yeah, that's crazy. That's why it's just called a concept. That, no, nah, that's how it is, though. <laughs> what did you? You said you was putting together the the candle, the care packages for everybody this year. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, yeah. It's like, don't ask me for anything else. That's smart, though. Because you do get stuff that you, like, usually don't even think about getting your own self. So, like... Yeah. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Smart. Yeah, When's the last time... Actually, let's let's get into it. When's the last time you had a good Christmas? Last year. Last year? Yeah. Well, like, oh, okay, let me let me be more specific. When's the last time you got some good gifts? Last year. I f- I'm... Well, you guys do the white elephant, right? Uh, Yankee swap. Well, what would we do Yankee swap. I what do, what do you guys call it? I have a Yankee swap. Who calls it white elephant? There weren't we talking about I that? We were talking about that, and we we found out it was white elephant. But it was too like or some shit. I think it's just like depending on where you are, they have different names. Yeah. Um, I haven't done the Yankee swap in like probably like two three years. Cause, um, but we also do the uh, Secret Santa. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we get really good gifts with that, and then plus whatever else. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I always have a good Christmas because I, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty easy. I don't ask really ask for much. Like it's, I'm either asking for something in sports or something with cooking. Mm-hmm. That's the only things I really care That's about. It. If you give me other stuff, hey, thanks, appreciate it. That's good. Um, the spirit of Christmas is just being around with your family and friends, right? Yeah, it like Do, doesn't even matter if you get anything. I mean, I'll take something, but. I mean, fucking Cindy Lou Who over here. I mean, I, I anyway, mean, I'm giving, I'm last giving. time I had a good Christmas was Christmas is 09. All right. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Oh, <laughs> what was I about to say? No, la- I mean, last year, last year I got the jersey from you. I got um my new mix, my new KitchenAid mixer from Ronnie for Secret Santa. Mm-hmm. Uh, some new knives. I got uh, I got some shirts. I got a bunch of. Random stuff. I got, um, what did Tiana get me? Uh, she got me a few stuff. I can't remember what she got me, but they were all nice. Like, I mean, I, I enjoyed it and it was, it was our first Christmas last year too. So, I mean, I got her, I got her stuff. I got her mom and Cherie stuff or like one thing each, but like, it was cool. Yeah. So I enjoy Christmas ain't not me. It's just buying presents. That's that's what Christmas means to you. It, it's no, not no, no, no. no. That's all, what you just said, though. It's, it's always great. Whoa, 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 it's whoa, 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 whoa. And you just clap. Hey, so yo, so hey, yo. Great. What the hey, fuck? Yo, I didn't say that. Yo, we just talked about how the spirit of Christmas is giving and being around your family and friends. Yeah, and it's, and you're just saying, uh, yeah, it's nothing but getting gifts to me. No, it's getting getting the gifts. It's getting, going out getting, to the stores and buying gifts. Like, oh, giving be, gifts. You mean? Yeah, like why you say getting gifts then? You know what? You troll. Anyway. I'm gonna I was about to get into that let's, too, because I'm not drinking to... this. This shit's bringing me back to bad memories. Like I'm busting my fucking mouth open on asphalt. Let's, oh, let's try the rum chata while we're Fuck. At it. <laughs> Yo, this guy is I got trauma, blood. guys. I got trauma. It's okay. What don't you got? That ass. I I don't got um a million dollars. Okay, and we know that. A well behaved cat. That's that's we know that. That's two things I don't have. <laughs> All right, boy. Santa, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to from China. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Now let's let's get it going. Pumpkin spice is not a real thing. Pumpkin spice is overrated. Is what cinnamon, cinnamon nutmeg, and clove. isn't it clove? clove? Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. You put in three things: vanilla, vanilla. Is vanilla in pickle? Vanilla, because like when you're making like pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie, like yeah, that's true. Yeah, but like the actual like spice, like yeah, what it composes of, is spice, just but yeah. But you're just adding like you know the vanilla extract or vanilla bean. That smells it's good. Pretty good though. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Um, pumpkin spice is overrated. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's pretty good. It's not. It's not that I think like, oh man, it's overrated. Like, but it's just like the hype that everyone does something with pumpkin spice every single year. I, it's like okay, guys. I mean, it's just like when everybody's throwing fucking nut. Um, uh, what is that shit? Eggnog. Spike eggnog and shit like that every Christmas, year but though. That's Christmas. But still, this is it's the it's but that the we've, fall. But we've known about eggnog for like years and years and years. And pumpkin spice was just a food trend that they started. And it's like I don't I don't I think pumpkin spice has been around for a, a long 
long time now. Even it's when been we around, were kids. but people just haven't done done it like the way they have the last like few years. Mm. So, you want some? Yeah, that's strong as hell, though. It is. You can smell it. Like strong a... as hell. <laughs> you want to? Okay. There you go. Alrighty. Well, Bottom second nice. drink of the day. Nice. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, Vexium. Oh, Vexium. 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 That shit is strong as hell. Yeah. Again, no. I don't like that. <laughs> that shit is strong as hell. First and foremost, I'm not really drinking rum chata by itself to begin with. Let me ask. Do you guys, like, can you take cough medicine without a problem? Now I can. You can't do cough medicine? Because I'm not an alcoholic. All right. First of all, chill out. Second, I can do... Can't take cough medicine, can't do lick. I can I can do cough medicine. I can't take, like, pills. I have trouble, like, swallowing them. Pause. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? It's like you know not fucking like, you. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> like Tylenol, I like, I have trouble. Like I profit, I be struggling. Like you drink mad water too? I, I would be drinking water and like. I just your can't. brain just doesn't let the pill go I, down with the the water because it yeah. thinks that something's gonna happen to your body. I just be like, I'm a, I'm gonna choke. This kid's a body little. sensitive, bro. So. Like. <laughs> But nah, I feel that it's the uh, the cough medicine with the fucking um, white cap and the label, like, and it's a brown bottle, <laughs> bro. Whenever your mom would pull that shit out, she would bring out the biggest. Yo, you would get the biggest teaspoon that you n- not even teaspoon. She's bringing out big ass tablespoon, like you've never even seen this shit before Come in your on, life. You and she fills that shit up to the brim, bro, and gives it to you. And literally, like, granted, yeah, my whooping cough is now subsided, but yeah. like. Still, I don't want that have shit. Have you ever had? <laughs> have you ever had the uh, that spray for like sore throats? Yeah, chloroseptic. Bro, that is horrible. I, I have that for when I get tonsillitis. No, I, bro, I I have that in there. In one there time right I had now. that as a kid, I literally almost threw it back right back. What did you? What did you have? What did you have it for? Strep throat or some shit? No, I just had a sore throat. We had it in the house. Yeah. No. Yeah, Clara, nah, I ain't even gonna hold you. Clara's up to be saving my fucking ass, so I can't even talk shit about them, bro. Like, if if it wasn't for chloroseptic and garland, what is it? Salt water and lemon when I had the tonsillitis shit? So, salt, salt water, you gotta gargle salt water. I was fighting my life for my life, bro. Mm. That, yeah. <laughs> it was not the flu, it was tonsillitis. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, so while I was doing Uber this week, Uber and at the wedding, we was talking about it. Uh, I was driving to I was driving somebody to Market Basket <laughs> in Johnston. <laughs> I was driving someone to Market Basket in Johnston, and they was like, "Yeah, stop and shop is closed." And then I was like, "What?" And, he was, and then that, but that Thursday too, I went into Eastside Marketplace right there on Pittman on the East Side. And that store was half empty. And I was like, what the hell? Are they closing down? But then he literally confronted. He was like, yeah, there's a bunch. There's like mad stores closing down in the in the U.S. So what are they like doing the wholesale shit? They no, So not even that. So everybody free for all. I so love reported, when they do those. So reported back in July, uh, Stop and Shops will be closed in Johnston and the East Side Market. So the, literally the two that. East Side Market? The East Side Market. He said marketplace, the one on the one I went over to here, yeah, on Pittman, yeah, that one literally like it was half empty, like they were stocking things, but it was like chips, like it was empty. East Side Marketplace isn't that over there by, like, Fe- it's not Fed Hill area. No, it's not it's Fed like Hill. um, it's like near like Brown and stuff. Yeah, that's where it is, right? Yeah. Okay, word word. Yeah, damn, bro. I yeah. just was over there like a week ago doing DoorDash. Yeah, and there was mad people in the parking lot. They were probably just clearing it out because it's literally like empty. That would make sense why that parking lot was <laughs> packed like that. Then. Oh, I was like, damn, what they giving shit away? <laughs> but the stores, 
There are 32 underperforming stores that will be closing in the Northeast. Uh, there are eight stores in Massachusetts, including stores in Worcester, Raham, Shrewsbury, and Brockton. Wait, uh, it's right over there by the Whole Foods. I'm not bugging, right? Yes. It's right there. Because, like, the Whole Foods is right in front of it? Mm-hmm. Okay, word. Yeah, I know uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> there's, there's five stores in western in the western half of Connecticut, seven stores in New York State, ten in New Jersey. Uh, and then there's going to... And then there's going to be some in... Uh, Ryland, that's going to be closing out as well. Yeah, get them out of there. Um, Stop and shop is not good. And they actually closed <laughs> November 2nd, which is crazy. I was like, wow, that's literally coming up. Um, How do these companies go? Who bought them? There's a reason why they're closing. So what I heard about the East Side Market, why that one's closing down. One, like they just said, under underperforming. Two, they said they tried to sell it to like a mom and pop shop. But the price was way too high and nobody bought it. So like what, Rizaldi's or some shit that they're going to sell turn it into? I don't know what they're going to do. I've never been in that East Side Market, have you? It was pretty nice. Well, I've, I've never been in there. Card and it was pretty nice for like a, a stop and shop. It was nice. But in the location that it's in, it's weird. It's, the it's, way a, little, the, it's a little like too low key. You feel me? It's too low key. Because you drive back there and you're just like, because you go through a bunch Wal- of side it streets. It has the Walgreens. And- yeah, bro. And you're looked- like, damn, there's a complex back here? The way I looked at it was it was more like a richer stop and shop. Because, again, it's called Eastside Marketplace. So it, you wouldn't it's even know. Even stop and you shop, wouldn't yeah. know it was a stop and shop unless you walked in and was like, wait, this is a stop and shop. Mm-hmm. So that's why I looked at it as like a, just a richer store that they just marketed. Just because it was at, in, the, in the area? Exactly. Um, But also... And then this is what we were talking about, about the one in Johnston, why it's closing down. Market Basket is going to be opening up a lot more stores in Rhode Island, just in Market, general. Market Basket is better, though. Market Basket is a lot cheaper. It's yes. a lot better. They have better quality, fresher food. We need we need more Market Basket. Market Basket is... A, is their, their juice is good, too. People are, going to, <laughs> people are going to the Market Baskets instead of the Stop and Shops. And again, Stop and Shop is expensive for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Like you go in there for to buy three things, you're paying fifty bucks. So it's like, why are we doing that? So it's like that's why that one's closing. And then yeah, the Whole Foods is right there as well. So if you're gonna go to a you already expensive know market, how Whole Foods is. if you're gonna go to an expensive market, you might as well go to Whole Foods because they they have fresher products, good quality, and it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. And you would rather take that over a stop and shop where it's like, okay, it's still good stuff but half the things is just like why am i paying that literally it's crazy yeah so yeah so stop and shops are starting to close down a little bit in uh the area one thing that jumps to mind they're definitely going to release a peppermint version of that shit and that's going to be totally nasty that's nasty they already have one yeah i know that's that's nasty like not at all that's not good i wonder how it would taste in coffee though like in a nice coffee with an espresso in it? You never seen the peppermint? Rum? That's why I was saying I've seen this shit before, so it was peppermint then. Original yeah, they, is yeah, they have a yeah, they have a bunch of different flavors now. Okay. They have limoncello, they have a peppermint. Ew. <laughs> anyway. But yes, yeah, yeah stopping shops are starting to close down a little bit. So. What's your favorite grocery store? Um. Like, uh, like franchise grocery store, basically. Uh, I would probably say Price Right. I'm gonna be honest. Um, price right We went in price right Price right's like Free range Like they Give me a, a feel of like Get your shit and get out You know what I mean Like they didn't Every time I go in the price right too They're always rushing me mm-hmm. They're always rushing me bro Five minutes I'm like damn bro <laughs> Like what the fuck Before they close That shit ha- Yeah like that shit happened to us Two nights ago <laughs> Walking out, I was like, "What time are you guys close?" Five minutes. I said, "Damn, like that's not even a time." I, like, <laughs> I feel like I say price right because it's just, that's just what we've I've grown up with, and it's it's convenient. It's right down the street. It's easy. I feel like their prices for like produce and certain items are really cheap, and I can get them there and then go somewhere else for like meats and stuff because mm-hmm. their meats aren't that great. Like they don't have good steaks and stuff. Pork, their pork shoulders. They're cheaper products, and you can get really good, really nice sizes, so like you can find them. Chicken, be straight, so I can get the chicken there. It's just the steaks, so like they kind of suck. Yeah, but I mean, I think price rate's not that bad. 
Aldi's Aldi's is pretty good. Cheap. I've, I mean, Aldi's is the only reason Aldi's is popping is because they're the European brand. Like they're trying to franchise out here and shit, which mm-hmm. it's kind of giving us niche. And some of their ingredients in there are like really European because I've seen some of the shit and I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't never mm-hmm. seen what stuff's like mustard and shit. Like that. I'm mm-hmm. like, whoa, yeah. what the hell is they this? Have, like some like crazy like brands. It'd be like, and you're some, like, like, where awful. is this? And then it's probably somewhere in Europe. They eat that every time. Like mm-hmm. shit's crazy. You know what I like about Aldi's though? Is literally holiday season time. You'll find something crazy for a cheap price on like the sh- on the uh, on the shelves that like they just like randomly throw stuff like cups or stuff. Like, mm-hmm. You'll find something. It's like damn, these are nice, bro. They had a whole Christmas salmon filet the other day there for like twelve dollars, bro. Yeah. Like the whole the fucking filet. salmon. I'm like, I I don't mind. I'm it. looking around like, <laughs> no yo, gonna, what the fuck? I don't. I don't I, I'll get the salmon from there as well because it'd be it. Salmon is good. There's I've never gotten bad product from Aldi's. Yeah, Aldi's is not bad. Their chicken is good, and their I I've never tried their steaks or anything like that. I, I try to stay away from shit like that. But like the ground, they have ground sausage, they have ground chicken, they have yeah. like everything you possibly would need. Yeah, in there, and the party packs like with all the chicken drumsticks and everything, bro. That shit is mad cheap, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah. And their French toast sticks. Oh my goodness, the double cinnamon. I agree. Uh. But yeah, stop and shop if you're in the areas of those stores. Yeah, Jersey. Rate them, rate them before you get to it. You said which one was your favorite again? Price right. Price right. Jersey what? had mad fucking places. They had fucking Acme, ShopRite, ShopRite, yeah. uh, AMP. Um, what was the other one, bro? Stop and Shop was a, obviously they had them. Yeah, yeah, Wegmans. Uh, yeah, they have Wegmans out there. And um, it's weird that we don't have Wegmans in Rhode Island, but everywhere else does around us. Wegmans is cool, though. Like Wegmans, that that place is really, really nice. Yeah. Like if you really want to go to a top notch grocery store, they have Market Basket, too, um, out there. Market Basket. Um, I don't know why there's such a plethora of grocery stores in like that area, like of in like Jersey and like Delaware and like all those. Yeah, it's weird. There's too many fucking grocery stores. I mean, tear them all down. More people build parks, <laughs> parks and rec. Uh, but next topic again, ladies and gentlemen, election is in two weeks now. It Doomsday is, is upon us. Two weeks. Uh, if you're traveling, two anywhere, weeks. Two weeks. About just about two, and a, almost two and a half weeks. Two weeks, basically. Oof, America. If you're traveling anywhere, don't get. Or if you just don't want to be in line. Don't. The day of early early voting is now open. It opened today in Rhode Island. It opened yesterday in Georgia, and Georgia set a record for for the presidential early vote ba- or early ballots. It it set it the record yesterday, and the previous record was in twenty twenty with with so the record was one hundred thirty six thousand first day, uh, pre, uh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ballots. Yeah, ballots vote before the election day. This year, yesterday was 328,000. 328,000 ballots. And Georgia's a red yesterday. state. It's a it's a it's a big swing. It's a big it's a big uh What is it? Georgia, PA, um Arizona, Nebraska, Ohio, California too. California. California, California is a, is big blue, but I mean, it can go either way too. Florida is a big one as well. But the thing is, though, at the end of the day, like, and I know we don't really go into politics on this shit. Either way we choose, I feel like we are still going to be going into an inevitable, like, yeah. no matter which way, like, this is where America is going to, this is, it has to happen. It had to be inevitable no matter what leader you choose. And to be honest with you, we always sit here and go, oh, it's all about the president. It's, Motherfuckers don't do well, shit that's, until well, that's after, where, like well, we that's already where, said. That's more of my stance. It's, if one, if Republicans win, if Trump wins, we're going to go bound. It's going to be bad for us. If Kamala wins, it's only going to be, it only could get better if the Senate and the, rep- the House is Democratic. 
if it stays Republican as it is now and people vote Republican for the House, then a lot of things that she wants to try to do or what Biden is doing right now is going to get shot down again. So now people are going to complain like, oh, see, she's not doing it th- anything. It's not enough. Mm-hmm. So that's, again, it's the House of like the representatives. It's the Senate that really matter more. The Supreme Court. Yes. Yes, the Supreme Court as well. Them so. justices. So those are what's going to... The oldest really, people in America. Those are what's going to what are you doing, kid? Really, kid? What are you doing? This it that Those are what's going to matter the most, in my opinion. So, again, but just on Georgia, the fact that that many people said... They're already we're not locked waiting in. in line. You know who they voted. Oh, well, who knows? Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> um... What, what did they get last year? They were a red state. Uh, in 2020? Uh, Biden won that one. Georgia? Biden won Georgia. Pull that shit up. I don't believe you. Biden won. Um, because I... Uh, yeah, Georgia won. Now, again, also, like... There two, are two million votes. Go back. Yeah, he won. He won by like a good third, twelve thousand, just about in Georgia, and there's more people voting this year. So, um, and then you also got to remember there are some states that uh, will it gets split like, like some will have like the. Yeah, like freaking Nebraska. Trump got most of the electorals, and then Biden got like a one from there. So that could, that's gonna swing that as well. So like, PA was uh, New York was blue. PA was blue. And that's a battleground. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna. It's. I think this year is like really like really close. It's like neck and neck right now. Close. So. Well, I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, that whole Trump assassination shit really kind of fucking. I don't. It 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 boosted his shit, bro. I it I boosted mean, it, it boosted him. I think if Biden was only still running, him. I think if Biden was still running, yes, I would agree with that. I feel like a lot of things that's happened, especially with the the debate, where he really he didn't look great, and then even Vance didn't look great in his. It's. I think a lot more people are still kind of like, eh. oh, actually, speaking of that, too. And again, we're not really trying to go into all this right now, but Trump had a rally in California this week, mm-hmm. in Coachella, Coachella, California. Why is he in Coachella? Oh, not the fest, though, right? It's not the festival, but oh, he just... had he held the rally there. He had buses to get everyone from the parking lot to the rally. On some Disney shit. After the rally, there was no buses to get them. Back to the cars. So people were, and it was a two hour stranded. walk to get from the rally back to the car. So people were stranded there. Oh, well, so you, you, you vote Trump. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> so again, I'll get you reason, there, but you find your own way home. Another reason to just think about what's going on. So. Yeah. I mean, like, but that's not going to face people because they're going to be, oh, we could just walk together. So like, they were tearing down freaking walls and all that other stuff. So it's not ironic. Oh, uh, well, it's America for you. It's fucking America. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Land of the free, home of the fucked. Segna, like, nah, I'm joking. Um, am I, though? Uh, yeah, I know. Next topic. Well, speaking of freaking Florida. Because one, they just had they had they got a tornado that just ran through there as well. Florida's just getting cooked right now. Florida's when are they not getting cooked? <laughs> Florida is getting cooked. Florida's right now. always getting cooked, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Florida. If it's not Florida, it's Louisiana. I hate to say it, bro. Yeah, Florida is on one right now. But that wasn't even it. I seen it. I seen a a, a clip today, of course, on TikTok, uh, and. People were asking for illegal immigrants to come back and work because all of all the devastations that's happened, all the houses and buildings that's been t- torn down, and who will do all that labor? Immigrants. They're immigrants. But in Florida, they have the anti-immigration law, which is basically, uh, they created a law last year that was passed that 
uh, penalizes for hiring undocumented Im- immigrants, expands on employment verification screenings requirements, and validates out of state driver licenses for undocumented immigrants and establishes criminal penalty for transportation, transport, transporting undocumented immigrants into the state and increases funds to re- relocate or bus migrants to other parts of the U S. So now they're like, well, damn, who the hell's going to fix all these damn buildings? Cause ain't no one else going to do it besides them. I seen a, uh, uh, I think it was a comedy skit or something. And it was talking about like Republicans and they were talking about building a wall. Right. And they were like, we want you to, um, we we're building this wall to keep you out. Right. And then mm-hmm. they were like, well, like, can we come in? And then they were like, no. And then they were like, oh, why not? And then they were like, because you don't belong here. And then they were like, yo, well, do you need help building the wall? And then they were like, all right, fuck it, come over. (laughs) That shit had me dying. And like, obviously, I butchered the joke, but like the way he explained it had me dying. But it was so true because it's like all these people that don't want to do these hard labor jobs are the same people we're trying to keep out of this country. And it doesn't make sense because Mm -hmm. if we're keeping all all the people that are doing these hard working jobs that we don't want to do, who the fuck is going to do it when they're all gone? Yeah. And if we have these people in our country to do those jobs and they're gone and those jobs are still here, someone's going to have to do those jobs. And it's going to be yo ass, the privileged American that didn't want to work for fucking however much we were paying these illegal immigrants to do that fucking job. And then you know what you're going to do? You're going to try to create a union. You're going to go on strike. You're going to fucking pull up all these wages and shit. And we want more wages for the people that pick strawberries. Like, of course you do. But if you weren't given a shit before when the illegal immigrants were doing it. You were like, just, just mad they were here. Exactly. But you was gladly eating but, strawberries. But, and pick. but now your ass got a big them strawberries that they were doing and you're upset because you're getting paid dirt for it like fuck out of here bro and it, even even with the farms they're like bro the americans that are working there now are lazy like they don't they're not even doing the job they're supposed to be doing half the time and like and they're not they're not and it's crazy because like we're on the verge too of where we are and and it's not even like economically it's just developmentally and like in the industry industry shit wise motherfuckers are all worried about the debate and shit but elon fucking musk is about to take over this fucking planet bro. the robots you see did you see that shit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tariq, did you see that shit mm-hmm. did you see those self-automated cars that were driving motherfuckers from one venue to another that was about like five miles away bro mm-hmm. without them having to do motherfuckers were watching netflix bro we're seeing shit that we, I feel like we really weren't even supposed to be seeing, bro, like, in our age or time, bro. Like, I feel like this shit is just getting faster and faster the more we, older we get. And we are still in our 20s. Bro, we went from dial-up internet in the crib, bro, to wireless routers. You can get Wi-Fi anywhere. And we still in our 20s, bro. Shit is moving. Did you see I, the I, I robot producer was like, all right, can we get our designs back now? <laughs> literally, like, he like, just took I, that shit. It was, like, literally frame by frame. Like, the robot looked exactly like those. The cars look like the Tesla. <laughs> I'm like, like bro, Christ. this is crazy. Like, he's really doing something. Did you see when 2 Chains was doing uh, the demonstrations and st- shit? He was talking to the robot. His name was Tony and everything. Shit was crazy, bro. Like, I'm like, yo. <sighs> Y'all keep fucking around. Y'all talking about all these. Oh, we don't want to do these jobs. Well, you know what? If the the if the illegal immigrants aren't going to be there to do these jobs, robots are. And you know what? The thing about robots are, they will put everybody out of a job. Everybody. Because those machines ain't going to stop. <laughs> and you know one thing? The machines don't get tired, neither. A machine's going to break. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to call no mechanic. They going to call a robot to go mm-hmm. fix that machine. <laughs> so fuck around and don't clock into that next Amazon shift you got, motherfucker. 
I that, bet you they gonna have that robot in your place. That van gonna pull up. You gonna see a ro- robot with their shirt on. Get out. Saying, My pleasure. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Just fucking beeping at you and shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Even those I I have yet to go across those robots that are servers in the restaurants too. I, I wanna I wanna experience one of those too, bro. Else. Because people people abuse those ones, bro. Like I have not seen that. And else. they drop drinks. They always drop in trays or some shit like that. That shit is just so fun. Yo. The um the closest I've seen robots so far in our everyday lives, and I know you've experienced it too, is that fucking robot that follows around all the fucking minorities in the grocery store, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that shit is low key racist. Not Fuck even, that high key racist. And then even, they got the nerve to put big ass Google eyes on that shit, like it's really looking at you, bro. Fuck this shit. Bro, Why bro, is it wa- yeah, following me every aisle, bro? This shit just following me. I'm walking past a mass crowd. I walk past the whole self checkout line, nigga. That thing still followed my black ass. <laughs> it don't follow me, but I just be seeing it and it be in the way of the most inconvenient time. Like, bro, get out of the way. <laughs> bro, that should be following you, bro. That should be following you. I don't know if it's racist. I don't know if it's some type of design maybe flaw. It's, maybe it's just you. And it's probably they just think I'm stealing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's all I got for the robot talk and um, futuristic shit and yeah. um, immigrations and yeah, Florida, politics wrapped all into one. Fuck that. Florida, get it together. Florida, yeah, you you got us talking about all crazy shit. Get it together, please. Last topic before we get into you know the picks and everything, we gotta talk about J Cole, bro. He dropped some fire. J Cole dropped Port Antonio this week. It was, it was some it was, fire. It was fire. It was it was dope. It was, it was tough. It was it was a nice joint. It was a nice joint. I seen something on TikTok though that said that J Cole's a cop out, and I kind of you still you still agree I with that agree even after with listening that. to it. I kind of agree with it, bro, because it's like we all signed y'all all signed up for this shit, bro. It's it's rap game, bro. Like that's what it is at the end of the Do day. Do you right? sign you sign up to be in rap beef though? You, it's different if it's if a rap battle. You're only if you're all claiming to be the king of rap, the number one spot, it's going to come with competition regardless. Cole, you Cole, you claim that you would, oh, da, 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 this, that, the other. You seen what you were facing, bro. And this is, I'm not saying this out of my heart genuinely. I'm just re-quoting whatever the fucking girl said on TikTok. She said, you can't. Call yourself a king and be half half stepping in this shit, bro. Like, well, I mean, that's what he said in the song. He was like, "If this is what y'all want, like, then I I don't need to be called king. Like, if if I don't need to dig up random things just to throw back at someone I care about, like he said it in the song. Like, we can look at it as an apology. We look at it as like he's literally saying, "Yo, me and Kendrick's been boys for years. I was I was I did not want to." But do he was it. talking about Drake too. He, he was too. he, he was said, like the, uh, he's cool with both of them. He said I he and he mentioned her. He said, "Yo, like I wasn't going to go there." And he's like, "Yo, and to say I'm not your friend, I, he's I, you done mad stuff for me. I still care about y'all." But let's let's just to be the devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. Do you think he would have went toe to toe with these two niggas? Like if they he, were going back and forth with he, each other. If he wanted to, I think he could have. I think he could have. It's J. Cole. Let's not act like he's not. Like, I'm not saying he's not, but we have not seen that side of J. Cole. We've seen him throw random shots and jabs and have like a random verse for people. Like we've seen it. So it's like we know the potential is there. I, I wanna I wanna see a full full fledged a, Dreamville versus fucking like and what's up? What's going on? What, when are they coming out with their next album? I need Revenge of the Dreamers four, bro. Like, what the I fuck are y'all doing, bro? I don't know. Y'all are bugging the fuck <laughs> out, and I have not heard shit from none of them, bro. Like, literally none of them. No one dropped Jad, shit, bro. Jad, he just dropped like a no, he didn't. he didn't. Oh, I thought you was about to say an album, nigga. No, I was about to say no, he didn't, like, bro. That's long ago. But um, that's it. Like, what the fuck, Dreamville? They when is Dreamfest usually? Like May? I don't know. I ain't never been. We gotta go. I know. I would go that before and loud. But anyways, I think I think Hey yo, what the fuck? I think J. Cole can do it. Rum chata talking, ain't it? 
This nigga drunk. <laughs> Well, I think J. Cole can do it. If he if he really wants to go toe to toe, if he really wants to do it, I think he could have came at Kendrick. I think he could have came at Drake. He's been around both of them plenty of times long enough to do it. I think he decided I don't want to do this. He said, I don't want to have blood. He said, I got blood on my hands enough with that. I don't want I didn't want any more. So again, I don't blame him for doing what he did. I apologize, Kendrick. I apologize, Drake. I'm gonna step away. Y'all do what you wanna do. You guys want you guys claim this is how you become the king, then you guys go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and do what I have to do. Why you wait like three months when the beef is over, bro? Like to to say some shit, bro. Like I mean he said he said it before at like, the concert and everyone was still mad at him. Bro, like <laughs> bro. He dropped into the song and it's like, you know what? Damn. Bro, like <laughs> bro. Bro. Cole, nah. Cole, great, great artist, great artist, very great artist, has made some very memorable songs that will be forever classics. When it comes to beef, bro, like, nah. Like, just just keep that shit to yourself, bro. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, like, that shit that you dropped, poor Antonio, that shit was French kiss, but like, chef's kiss, French kiss, the whole nines. But it wasn't. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't needed. Like, uh, bro, it wasn't like, needed, but he gave it to us, and I'm like, well, hey, I'll take it. I ain't mad at but it. But we do know the fall off is coming. The fall off is coming. We do know the fall off is coming, and I am definitely going to listen to that album because I I do like J. Cole. I do like J. Cole. Exactly. I don't... Again, And I don't, at the end of the day, like, all of this, like we say for anything, we love it because it's entertainment. We've yeah, grown for, up on rap. Like, yeah, we love that shit. Entertainment. But we never want to see it either, like, get into violence or anything like that either. So, like, I mean, if everybody was just sparring and no one was getting really into violence I and mean, shit like that, I mean, but, like, people got hurt. I mean. Did that guy, he, he actually got killed. The security guard, Drake's security guard. Yeah, from uh, the weekend's crew. They was they were actually killing each other, um. Uh, so, again, you you think J Cole wanted to be a part of that? No, and there, it wasn't just a regular sparring session. No, Kendrick threw some actual hooks and jabs and uppercuts and body shots. He put him in a guillotine. Why? Why are we just saying Kendrick though? Because Drake was doing. He was throwing. He was both of them was dirty blow blows. Exactly. They were doing the same exact thing. Us. They didn't give a damn if the ref was there. They was kicking each other nuts. So. And then that's just crazy. <laughs> you you see what they was doing, so look, Cole, keep keep doing you. I ain't gonna judge you. I am. <laughs> All right, let's get into some picks. <sighs> do I really want to do this shit, man? Yeah, I guess. What's the picks? You know, you you kind of slipping, Drew. You letting the people down. What is it? You went two and three last week. Bitch, you went two and three then. No. What did you go? I went three and two. We didn't have the same picks last week. You picked the one different thing from me. Yeah, uh, it was like two of them. I picked, you had the Ravens. I picked the Commanders. And, oh, I had the Bengals. You had the Giants. I had the Lions. You had the Cowboys. I had the Jets. You had the Bills. The Bills won. That was it? You got the 49ers. 49ers and the Bills? Yeah. I don't want to play anymore. Once my odds start tanking, I, I pull out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> pull everything off the table. We won't play no more. <laughs> you going to take your ball and go home? Yeah. Well, who was my Super Bowl pick? Jets versus Cardinals. Fucking idiot. <laughs> you what know, was he thinking, right? I don't know. But, you know, you got some picks for this week. Where are the picks? Yeah. Broncos versus Saints. Saints. Patriots, Jaguars in Wembley. Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Uh, let's go Patriots. I love this show. Kitchen I'm so, Nightmares. I'm so addicted to this shit. Packers, Texans. Texans. Chiefs 49ers Super Bowl rematch 49ers Jets Steelers Jets also just got Devontae Adams 
That's doing Aaron shit. Rodgers' best friend. That's not doing shit. Um, let's go. You said Steelers. Jets, Steelers, Steelers, Jets, Steelers. Russell Wilson might be starting this week as well. Steelers. <laughs> Fuck the Jets, bro. I'm not fucking with them right now. Ravens, Bucks. Ravens. And then Cardinals, Chargers. You got That's two. A tough one. You got you, you Super Bowl picks on here. Jets, Cardinals, you ain't going to rock with your picks? No. Uh, <laughs> Let's do, you said Cardinals and who? Chargers. Mm, let's do Cardinals. I don't think the Chargers are getting that one. Okay. Well. <sighs> see how you I, I don't get how T- Tiana's 20 and 10 She's just guessing I'm 15 and 15 You're 14 and 11 At least you got a winning record So you're doing great I'm disappointed you letting fans down But it's okay You're going to rebound what, this what fans? <laughs> <laughs> the fans They're picking They're taking your picks So I'm dead I hope no one's betting after me Please don't They are They've told me he would be very broke. <laughs> he said he said they are. They told me they, they're telling me. They said we we picked the ones he did. Oh it my true. god, Jesus! <laughs> Please don't. But yeah, that's everything. That's all I got. All right, Tariq. Uh, that was a wonderful show. Episode eighty-seven. Nine. Oh, that's what I said, bro. Damn. Anyway, Yo, you, you can late. find me. Your hair's getting long too now. You think so? Hold on. Look look at the hair. Look, the hair's actually getting long. I don't think so. It, it's growing. You guys like it? Remember when y'all used to talk shit about me? And it was like it was just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, anyway, y'all can catch me on IG at I Love You Drew. You can also catch me at Second Human. Keep it locked here on the Mixing Pop Podcast because we not only talk about politics and fun things, but we also talk about food. And who doesn't like to eat? <laughs> I know you do. Anyway, keep it locked, keep it loaded. Because if you're not listening to us, then... What are you listening to? Exactly, Tariq. Where can they find you, bro? This is strong as hell. It's, it's too strong. Strung out strong. I got to start dinner. Shatrick.com on Instagram and TikTok. Shatrick 401 on Facebook. Mix Pod Podcast. MHMG Pop Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Check out our clips. Um, the Mix Pop Podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Wherever you guys get your podcast. Um... Check out the pilot of Mixing Up with Chef Tariq on Eat This TV Network. I'm going to upload it on my YouTube channel as well. I just have to, up, I just have to edit it first. Um, uh, Thanksgiving is coming. Breast Cancer Walk is this week. Grab your tickets from Miss A Block for the Breast Cancer Cake and Sip this Saturday from 3 to 6. Breast Cancer Walk on Sunday, downtown Providence at like 9 Eight nine o'clock, uh, and then Thanksgiving is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Feeding the homeless, ninth year, mm-hmm. the ninth year. That's crazy. Homeless. Time's flying. Yeah, um, we'll be putting out the information for that. If you want to get involved, if you want to help us out, so we'll let you guys know what's going on. So then, there you have it. True. <laughs> Take us out of here. <laughs> right. That's what I'm Peace out, everybody. I said the gift of Christmas is.